This story would begin on planet Earth. All the Z warriors were celebrating in Bulma's house because the tournament of power was over and the Universe 7 was the winner, but something bad was about to happen, the universes would begin to shake for no reason, this would scare all living things. Home time multiverse would shake harder and harder, it seemed as if we were all about to explode, on the one hand on the planet of Zenosama the Guardians and Daishinkan were very alert. Hey hey Daishinkan what's going on, why is this trembling? Don't worry Zenosama, I will soon find out where it is coming from, said the priest calmly, but inside he was very upset and nervous. But what is this? Although the tremor is very strong, I don't feel any presence. What is going on? On planet Earth. Hey Wiz, what's going on? Even for my Lord Birusama I don't know what's going on, my oracle doesn't work, everyone was very scared and surprised, no oh, it can't be true. I'm still young to die, shouted Shishi scared while Bulma asked, Vegeta you know what's going on. If the angels don't know, the less I know what's going on, meanwhile on one side Goku would get up and this would be the only one who would feel something, what is this, the god and Vegeta shook their heads, but how can they not if this power is impressive, Goku was in shock because of how nervous they were. All the angels and gods were scared, while in the middle of nowhere the super dragon spheres would work, illuminating everything, and an entity would appear. Jum, it was time to be reborn, it's been billions of years. I'm going to have to go feed on the 12 universes. This is a wonder whoever it is should have known that the super dragon spheres have to be used once every 100 years. This one raises his hand creating a totally mysterious being. Great Yanemba I thank you for creating me, from now on I will follow your orders. Shut your mouth. I gave you my 20% of power and I am very weakened, I need to absorb the universes and wait some more time to recover my maximum level. Great Yanemba, just tell me your orders and I will fulfill them myself, what do you want me to do? At that moment the entity shouted with just raising his key he would destroy the entire galaxy, Daishinkan would feel this and with his oracle he would observe that two beings were talking in the middle of nowhere, Daishinkan would start to tremble falling to the ground. The guardians and Zenosama would say, what happened Daishinkan what is going on? Stand up high priest. How could I forget? Forget what Daishinkan? I forgot that the super dragon spheres never have to be used twice every 100 years, on the one hand. Janemba with a little bit of his power would create an entire universe. I will rest in universe 13 that I just created, you go and absorb the power of all the deities you find, then kill the gods and angels and bring me all their power, as my lord commands Broly disappear. Hey, it looks like he stopped shaking, that's weird, well let's keep the party going, said Wizzes with a big smile about to eat, but a big bolt of lightning would appear on planet earth, what was that, everyone back off, said Beida putting in fighting pose with Goku and Beerus. In that in the sky would fall three heads covered with blood, they were nothing more and nothing less than the heads of Hit, Jiren and Tokpo, this leaves everyone surprised, even Wizzes and Beerus, Goku paralyzed slowly raise his hand, who the hell did this? I've already absorbed the gods and eliminated the most powerful mortals in the universes, I only have two Saiyans left. But who the hell is this guy? Who are you? Why did you kill those three, miserable? The deity appears in front of Beerus hitting him with a filling blow crashing him to the ground. Leaving Beerus badly wounded. But what's that speed? Goku transforms into Super Saiyan Blue. But the entity closes his fist throwing a blow of air hitting him in the chest of the Saiyan sending him far away, damn insect will finish you shouted Vegeta throwing himself with all his strength but the deity is translated ahead of this and with a single finger would faint him. On the one hand Goku would get up very hurt drawing blood, that blow almost, almost kills me, in the distance would be observed as the deity was having a great fight with wizards. No, that's not possible, who the hell is that guy? He's fighting at the same level as Wizz's, it's impossible. In that moment Wizz's falls defeated next to Goku, totally covered in blood, Mr. Wizz's, resist, resist, Goku at least try to escape on your own, suddenly Wizz's suddenly takes his ovaculum and makes Goku immortal, 
and then unleashes all the potential that he has. Survive our Goku! exclaimed the angel dying, Goku paralyzed would fall some tears, Mr. Wizzes. Well, you managed to survive my attack, interesting, suddenly the deity receives a blow from Beerus sending him away, Goku get out of here, grab Vegeta and leave, I'll give you a little more time. Goku is astonished because the god of destruction was risking his life for them, Mr. Beerus, I promise that if anything happens I will see you again, Goku flies towards Vegeta and then goes to his friends, everyone hold on to me, I will do the teleportation. Goku shouted seeing his friends and family, but then Gojin shouted, everyone attack, wait what are you doing, don't worry father, we'll defeat him, shouted Gojin and the others, but the little Saiyan would have been cut in half, but what? No, it's not possible. All the bodies of Goku's friends were completely covered in blood. Haha <laughs> simple weaklings, said the entity with a smile, when at that moment. No, no, how could you, what was the need to kill my friends, why, why did you do it, why did you do it, why did you do it, why did you do it? called the Super Supreme Saiyan. But who are you? Because a mortal has that power? Goku in the blink of an eye would pierce the deity leaving him shocked, what incredible speed you have but. At that time, he regenerates, grabbing Goku's neck and squeezing it tightly. But the Saiyan kicks him in the face and then charges and launches a ball of energy creating an explosion. Behind Goku a voice is heard, it will be an honor to absorb a mortal like you. So both would begin to exchange thousands of blows destroying the entire planet Earth. Would spend a few minutes the combat of both beings were very even, Goku was very tired, Goku is a carelessness is hit hard falling to the ground, mortal are the first being who has endured so much with me, Goku tries to attack him, but in a second, he breaks all the bones in his body. Grabbing him by the neck, absorbing absolutely all the power that Goku had managed to obtain in his entire life, and in milliseconds, he cuts them off. Mid is knocking Goku to the ground. This power is incredible. Goku without half of his body crawls on the ground. B. Vegeta I'm going to save you, Goku takes the hand of the Prince Saiyans teleporting in the temple where he was denned, I know Sir Goku but what happened? Said Dend in shock. A few seconds would pass and Goku would have already recovered half of his body taking out his wounds gradually. Dend, we have to enter the time room. But Mr. Goku, what's going on? Did you think you would escape Saiyan? No, it's not possible. Dend run. Saiyan I see that you have regenerated, I don't know how you have so much power but. Goku would be pierced, without a heart you can't regenerate anymore. No way Mr. Goku. Goku falls to the ground, while on one side he was crying. The god would kill Dend and then charge a super attack about to destroy the planet Earth, but what the god did not know was that Goku was still alive, his heart would have regenerated since he was immortal. The Saiyan with his last strength would teleport ahead of the room of time and without hesitation he would enter. On one side the whole planet Earth would be Diatrud. Well now I will go after the damned gods of destruction. Meanwhile in the time room, who the hell was that guy? Whatever, I must kill him. But even with the power I just got, I won't be able to do anything. With that said, Goku would fall to the ground in a faint. Several days would pass in the time room, Goku had already healed all his wounds, he was very frustrated and sad with a lot of anger saying to himself. Damn you, I couldn't save anyone, I couldn't save anyone, I couldn't do anything, my friends, my family, I lost everything, Goku would begin to shed some tears, but he would know that it wasn't time to cry, getting up and very seriously saying. I'm going to kill that bastard even if it costs me my life, I'm going to destroy him, Goku would try to transform into Super Saiyan Blue, but he couldn't do it. It's true, 
I took away all my powers, this will be more complicated than I thought. Said the Saiyan to begin his long training, Q as time passed Goku IGA recovering all his energy and powers, spending more than 50 long years of training, I do not know how much time has passed, but I know that I have recovered all my powers, however. I still don't know what my limit will be, after those words the Saiyan would leave and continue training without stopping to the point of obtaining as a base form the Ultra Instinct, obtaining a power that would make any being that was ahead of him tremble, while Goku trained. In all the universes the gods and angels were dying little by little. Great Daishin Kansama we have been looking for survivors, but it seems that all the gods and angels have died. As expected, this multiverse will fall sooner or later, but with the permission of the great Zenosama. High Priest do not tell me that you are actually going to. That's right, I will have to ask for help from the most powerful warriors of the universes. High Priest but all those evil warriors have been locked up for millions of years and if you free those evil warriors they will want to destroy the multiverse. We will take the risk, but I will try to make a deal with them, said the priest approaching Zenosama. What's going on Daishinkan, have you already finished with this great threat? Great Zenosama, unfortunately I have to tell you that the power of old entities surpasses yours and mine, said Daishinkan seriously, to which Zenosama replied. I understand Daishinkan then we have no choice but to free those beasts that are locked up, is that right? You are right great Zenosama, well then I will send you to that world, be very careful Daishinkan. Said the king of everything to open that Daishinkan would be teleported to another world. Long time no see warriors. Priest, you must have a lot of guts to show up here. Let me kill him myself. I just came to offer you a deal but I see that none of you are interested so I'll leave. Wait you wretch. You locked us in here for billions of years and now you come to make a deal with us. You are complete scum. Wait, let me talk about what deal we are talking about, otherwise we will kill you. Daishinkan would explain to them everything that happened. Explaining to them about the two new threats and that they need help. If you do everything correctly I will get you out of here. I don't agree, you lock us in here for billions of years and now you expect us to save your universe? Bardock is right. Si que te ayudemos, if you want us to help you at least give us a part of your multiverse. multiverse. Oh, oh wow, so that's how things are, so things are now. Okay, I'll, I'll give one universe to each of you. Each of you. It's my last offer, do you accept? You accept? accept? Well then accept get us out of here. Bueno, well at least it'll be more fun than being locked in here. We accept the Aceptamos offer take us now. The All the warriors were in a hurry as they wanted Daishinkan to get them out of there. Oh well then, let's leave yeah. immediately. Daishinkan appears in front of Zenosama with all the deities, all the great Zenosama warriors are already here. Well so you managed to make a deal with them, at that Zenosama becomes very serious saying, let me tell you that even though you have more power than me and Daishinkan, I have the ability to lock you up, if you do something wrong you will regret it. Suddenly all the deities would start smiling. That's why we have been training for millions of years so that your technique will not affect us. It is not possible. Suddenly all the evil warriors would increase their power by attacking Zenosama. Daishinkan would quickly teleport to Zenosama. Damn you, it got away from us. Nothing happens Mirai, anyway we are now free and the multiverse belongs to us, said the evil being called Zeldus. Meanwhile in the time chamber. More than 100 years had passed since Goku entered that room, the Saiyan was very tired of being locked up so he decided to raise all his power by creating a large portal in front of it. Goku entering the portal would appear in space, quickly teleporting into the palace of the king of everything, who would seriously observe how everything was totally destroyed. Did he come here? That bastard came here? Wondered Goku, looking around, when he would be surrounded by three dark entities. Who are you? Asked Zeldris. He seems to be a mere mortal, we'll kill him quickly, said the evil being called Q while on one side. He is very, very cute, said the evil entity blushing. Hey, did you guys do all this? Asked the Saiyan without showing any expression. We're just having a little fun. 
Besides, there's no need to answer your question since we'll kill you right now. In the blink of an eye, Kyu appeared behind Goku and threw a big punch, but it was too slow for the Saiyan to stop it with a single finger, leaving everyone perplexed. I wanted to talk a little. But I see that beings like you cannot interact, suddenly Goku turns around giving him a hard blow in the stomach making him draw blood. Bad damn, Zeldris charges and launches a super attack towards Goku, but ahead of the Saiyan Sora the Ice Queen would get. Goku would be somewhat surprised to see that Sora defended Sora, what the hell are you doing? There's no reason to kill him, he didn't do anything wrong, leave him alone. Stand aside or I'll kill you along with him, Sora. Sora would refuse, Sora turns around and says to Goku. If you don't escape, he'll kill you, he's the most powerful one here, I'll buy you some time, I'll protect you until then, said Ice Lon Rain with great determination, preparing to fight Zeldris. Damn traitor! Shouted this one to appear in front of Sora leaving her paralyzed and launching a super attack, but however Goku disintegrated with one hand and with a smile said. I see that you have a good heart, thank you for trying to defend me but. At that moment, Goku launches a flurry of punches hitting Zeldris in the face and sending him away. Get behind me, I will protect you, these words would leave very flushed a la Ice Queen, on the one hand Zeldris very angry and hurt would say, miserable because how come you have that power, that you care, you do not interest me, I'll let you go but on the condition that you do not do anything wrong, Zeldris would feel very humiliated shouting, I will kill you if I have to destroy everything, Zeldris begins to raise his power to impressive levels, Goku would wonder, I think they are capable of surpassing Zenosama, I have to stop them before they do anything, Goku would begin to raise all his ki, the Saiyan appears in front of Zeldris, evil cursed, Zeldris would use a technique creating a barrier, hey Kyu help me. Kyu tries to attack Goku from behind but Sora would appear counting his arm making the entity scream in pain. I won't forgive you, you miserable traitor, at that moment Sora creates a portal to lock up Kyu. I'll kill you Soraya. Shouted Zeldris but Goku just by touching his chest would disintegrate him creating an explosion all over the palace. The Saiyan turns his head to look at Sora very shyly. Explain everything to me. Why do they have all that power? Sora would explain everything that happened telling them that all of them have more power than the king of everything and that even three of them were navigating through the universes. Okay, thank you very much. I will look for Zenosama and Daishinkan right now, so you can go now. Wait, not me anymore, I have nothing to do, take me with you, I will help you in any way I can. You can't, it's dangerous and you could die. P.E. but me, I want to be with you. Sora couldn't talk blushing. As you wish, come with me, but if something serious happens, escape as fast as you can, while in another place on a planet full of life, Daishinkan and Zenosama will appear. Are you alright, big Zenosama? Of course, of course, Daishinkan, by the way, what is this place? We are in the palace of the God of Angels, in this place is the King of Angels, now that the situation has worsened, we need him as much as possible, said the priest when behind him would appear Goku together with Sora, Zenosana and Daishinkan would be impressed, go Goku? You're still alive but how? I never thought you would still be alive, at that point Zenosama would yell, she's with that girl, kill her Daishinkan. As I ordered, Daishinkan was about to attack Sora, but Goku appeared in front of him, don't worry, she's on my side. I beg your pardon for what happened before, but you deserve it for locking me up. Zenosama and Daishinkan would last long in this one but they would do absolutely nothing. I want you to tell me everything and why are you here? Ask the Saiyan that Zenosama and Daishinkan would answer all his questions, that inside that castle was the king of angels and the only salvation for the multiverse. Thus they would all enter the castle observing a great entity. Did all this power come from that guy? Daishinkan and Zenosama would kneel down. What are you doing here? I told them that I wanted to live without anyone bothering me, if they come to bother me I will kill them. Sorry to bother you, great king of angels, I wanted to ask for your support. 
since our multiverse is about to be destroyed. I already know that, but it's not my problem, you release that beast, now take care of it. But besides that, Janemba has resurrected, why are you telling me that? I already know, I see everything. But despite that I can't do anything to Janemba, I've aged a lot and my power is not like before, if I were to attack him I would just kill myself, there is nothing to do, the destiny of the universes has already been decided, everyone would be somewhat surprised, by the way. Why don't you two mortals kneel down, Sora would kneel, but Goku would seriously answer, why should I kneel? It's a sign of respect for me, the most powerful god and being of all. I don't care what you are, I don't want to kneel before anyone. The angel king stands up in anger. Damn mortal, my sincere apologies please do not do anything to him, he deserves punishment. This would charge and launch a super attack which Goku would stop with great difficulty leaving everyone very surprised, how? It's not possible. King Zarama hits him with a punch causing Goku to fall against the rocks hard, not Goku, the king of everything and the high priest would duck their heads thinking that Goku would be dead, but out of the rubble would come a completely unharmed Goku walking slowly, that's all? I thought you would have more power. Impossible I'm sure I hit you with 40% of my power, you would have to be dead, suddenly Goku would unleash all his power surprising everyone, get ready king of angels because this has just begun. Goku closes his eyes to move to the perfect ultra instinct maximum power overflowing the stunning heat that would destroy everything around him, this power was leaving more than paralyzed everyone, but what is this power? It's not possible to be Goku, he's just a mortal, you shouldn't underestimate him for being a mortal. But Goku Goku is great, said Sora very excited, but who do you think you are, you dare to challenge me? I'll show you that you can't even reach my heels, said the king of angels but Goku was already behind him. You talk a lot but do little, Goku hit him hard in the face sending him against the rocks, Goku is great, I hit him, Noah what do we do? He's going to kill us all, he's the angelic king, he can do anything, calm down Daishinkan. This is between the angelic king and Goku. We have nothing to do with it, on the other hand, you give good hits but you lack mortal strength. The deity creates several portals starting to hit Goku from all sides doing great damage all over his body breaking all his bones, smashing him against the ground. What did you think of that, this is just the beginning, exclaimed Goku while his wounds were healing and his power was increasing uncontrollably. What? What is this? Goku gives a loud scream increasing his power in the ultra perfect instinct maximum power exceeding the limits of that transformation and in a blink the Saiyan creates a planet throwing it to the deity, do you think that with this you will defeat me? I destroyed entire galaxies. The angelic king would disintegrate the entire planet but this was only a distraction because the Saiyan was below this with a super Kamehameha. Receive my Kamehameha increased 100 times, the super attack would impact filling against the deity creating a gigantic explosion. On the one hand Daishinkan would create a super barrier because if not these were going to be shot out, Goku is amazing I love it as it is, after this would be a tired Goku but this touches the heart making a technique and recovering all his energy, I think I spent a little. On the floor would be a very wounded angelic king but still retain much of its power, if I were to use my true power and you would be dead mortal, that I have it very clear however it is not time for that, so I accept that you are a strong opponent a worthy rival but you neglected. Confused Goku, what do you say? Behind this was the deity hitting him in the neck with 100% of power making him fall to the ground fainted, that guy is amazing, so this was his power, although he is somewhat confident must improve several things, cannot be defeated in one blow. Hey angelic king you just did? Perhaps all this time you were acting? Of course yes, perhaps you had not noticed, I just messed with him so I could fight, it was all in my plan, since that mortal arrived I felt a power emerge that only I can notice, I wanted to check a little of his power. Even though he is not at my level he has a great potential, maybe the last hope is this guy, so I was acting exclaimed Daishinkan amazed, even I thought he was upset and was going to kill Goku, of course not, this guy has an interesting energy that only a few possess, what, seriously? Goku has so much power, what energy are you talking about? 
It's a very special energy, you wouldn't believe it, I don't believe that Goku has so much power, it's impossible, silence, this guy has a multiversal energy, multiversal energy? This energy is only possessed by a few beings in this world and they are hidden, I only possess the universal energy which is much lower than the energy that this mortal has, he goes beyond the limits, he just doesn't know how to control this power, is Goku really that powerful, if so? Surely Janemba will also have those energies, Janemba has three types of energies, the universal, the multiversal and lastly the cosmic, so he can destroy reality itself, but I do not understand why he has not done anything yet, and do you know anyone else who has the same energy as Janemba? No, he is the only one, there is no one else with that energy, that little girl over there, said the angelic king. Who me? What about me, what do you want? You possess the universal energy, you just didn't realize it and you can't control it. You still have a lot to learn, he said laughing, while on the other hand. I have the power of all the angels, gods and mortals, only there was a small inconvenience. What's wrong? What are you talking about? Just when I destroyed the planet a mortal escaped me. I thought I had killed him but some time later I realized that he had escaped me. Ha huh, mortal, anyway he's no good to me, he's just a weakling. But after a few minutes I analyzed it well and I could feel that this mortal had a strange key. I don't know what it was but it seemed strange to me. Are you talking about his type of energy? If his energy was different from everyone else's? Damn you, that mortal surely possessed some kind of special energy, how could he escape you, surely he was powerful. Wait great Yanemba in that Yanemba would stick a sword in the stomach of this, ready no longer serve me you are an insignificant and good for nothing guys, Yanemba it would disintegrate with a single finger. Now that I have a little more power I will stop hiding. I will begin to destroy everything, but surely there are people out there with this type of energy, millions of years have passed since I was locked up in that damned place, the best thing will be to go to the other four universes that are hidden, my power will be reduced by half. But when I get there, I will absorb the different types of energy and when I am ready I will finish with everything and rebuild my own world with my rules, suddenly Yanemba opens a dimensional gap creating a universe and disappearing. What the hell are we doing here? Shut your mouth. We have a type of energy that you do not have, and what are you saying? You are the only one who does not understand anything as far as I see, stop this nonsense, did not you feel that presence? What are you talking about? I see that of the three of us you are the only one who does not have a special type of energy, damn you, what are you hiding from me, Bardak would explain to Demigra about the energies, what is this? Right now you are the weakest, you don't have anything. So you can't feel the energies while we just felt a strange presence, a very powerful energy, so we have to make sure we absorb deities and thus become stronger. I didn't come here for that, we are in universe 14, Right now there are three more hidden universes. There are 17 universes in total, he said without knowing that Yanemba had created another universe. But in this specific universe is where I fell and I became stronger and I learned a lot with my teacher. Teacher? You never told us anything Bardak. Kamo Sia follow your way Kalki or anything press this button, said Bardak giving his companions a button, if you press it I will appear instantly. Hey why do not you take off your mask, my master was the one who put it on me, that's why I'm going to ask him to take it off. It's time to release all my power, it was time for you to take off that mask, now go away, the three entities would disappear, on the one hand Bardak would appear on a planet while the other two were in the universe 15 and 16. While in the universe 18. Goku you woke up. Hey what happened, I'm not dead, curse me out. How did you increase your power so much from one second to the next, how about the clone I created and made to fight you mortal what, that was a clone, you are so strong but you know nothing Saiyan who the hell are you. This one would explain to Goku about the hidden universes the types of energies and that there would be other hidden powerful beings Goku would understand absolutely everything. On the one hand where did your friends go, asked Zenosama, looking seriously at Sora. They said they were going to go sailing and investigate deities. 
so they went to absorb gods with special energies. If they manage to absorb many gods like that, it will be a big problem. I'm going to finish with those three that escaped me and with that Yanemba. Mortal you stay here if you are going to face Yanemba just thinking about it will annihilate you, I will teach you some techniques that may be more useful to you than me, Zenosama and Daishinkan also train you. They are all very weak, it is time to train them as it should be, said the deity in order to start training them. Ardan, what are you doing here, master is still alive. Those of us who have types of energies have lived millions of years Bardak, now tell me where have you been all this time, it is a long story I will tell you but first take off this mask that you put on me to hide my true power what are you going to do Bardak? Why do you want me to take off the mask, for a while now I have been feeling very powerful presences in the universes and I don't think I can fight them with my current power. I understand Bardak but there is something very strange here. Your energy has become much more evil than the last time. I'll take this damn mask off me, Bardak shouted angrily, the master would duck his head. What happened to you Bardak, if I take off the mask you will be a danger to everyone, you cannot control such power. You will even die. Suddenly, Bardak raised his hand and charged a ball of energy. If you don't do it, I will kill you and all the beings on this planet. I'd rather do that than destroy all the universes. Bardak would try to intimidate his master but he couldn't. He would disappear from the place. But what kind of way is that to ask for things? Said an entity which was behind Bardak, who are you? I know a place where they could take off that mask but you would have to apologize to my master, I apologize. Who do you think you are child? Bardak would attack him but the child would stop his blow with a single finger, leaving the Saiyan's mouth open, it is only an apology, it costs you nothing. Who is this kid? I know what you think, I am Kila and I possess universal and multiversal energy, what did you say? That's impossible, you are a child prodigy? Hey you don't look like a bad person really, I want to help you, although if you dare to do something bad to my master or any being on this planet I will not hesitate to kill you. Bardak's mouth falls open and he sighs and turns to his master asking for a big apology, well I already did it kid now tell me, the truth I don't know exactly how, damn kid what do you think you're saying? But they say in the universe 17 which in a gigantic planet there is a very powerful machine that removes anything you have, or so I had said my teacher while I'm out, Bardak creates a portal, I'll go with you, you say? I said I'll go with you, I'm already prepared, no kidding. Bardak with Kila would go to the universe 17, while in the universe 18 would have spent more than 15 years in that universe, Go have improved a lot and I can no longer teach them anything, in just 15 years learned a lot. You said 15 years? But it's only been days. Time in the universe has changed Saiyu, but I still feel like I'm missing more, I don't feel complete, Goku always tries to overcome you alone don't let anyone defeat you, yes I will try, Zenosama and Daishinkan you can already feel the special energies and identify them right. So go to universe 14 and 15 and gather the most powerful warriors you see, we'll kill that damn Yanemba, Zenosama and Daishinkan would disappear, while Goku and Sora would stay together and alone, what's up Sora, hey Goku, I want to tell you something, tell me Sora, are you very excited? Suddenly Sora rushes up and hugs Goku, hey Goku I want to hug you more, it's okay Sora do it as much as you want. Ever since you arrived you've been trying to cheer me up, Sora would blush, Goku from the moment I saw you, I've been trying to cheer you up for the past 15 years. I've been getting to know you more, I've been trying to cheer you up for the past 15 years, I've been trying to cheer you up for the past 15 years, I've been trying to cheer you up. Calm down Sora, I know what you're trying to say, but how? I'll tell you seriously, Sora. You've been with me all this time, and I want to tell you that I like you. Goku, this is serious? I wouldn't play with this, Sora, exclaimed a blushing Goku, while Sora was more than impressed. Wow, Goku, in these 15 years that have passed, you're not the same as before. You've changed so much, I want to be with you until the end, Sora kissed Goku, leaving him shocked, Goku was about to say something very blushing when everything started to shake. That energy is impressive, but whose power is it? Whose is it? 
If that energy is too big, don't you think so, Bardak, kid, you're making me tired. We're already on the planet, you can leave, I won't do it after all, my master told me to protect you. Protect me? What nonsense are you talking about? Bardak would disappear, leaving Keela alone. Well, well, who are you? Keela asked, turning around and looking at a guy. Finally, I found someone interesting. I said who are you, what do you want? You get to do something and I won't hold back. This guy, he's got some energies I don't know. Hey, don't you want to join me? What are you saying, I don't know you. Keela was about to leave but Yanemba appears in front of her. I hope you choose well, angry Keela would throw a super universal punch. Suddenly he receives a hard blow in the stomach, multiversal portal. Exclaimed Keela using multiversal energy creating different portals while throwing millions of blows in a cyanamon which Yanemba would try with multiversal energy to stop it. But Keela's attack was so powerful that it could not stop so hard hitting the whole body of Yanemba leaving him physically destroyed, however this would regenerate quickly. Ha 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 you are very powerful. You too, multiversal energy. Said Keela raising his hand to create a super ball of energy throwing it to the deity which Yanemba would launch a super attack full of multiversal energy but Keela was a little more powerful, it was nice to meet you but you wanted to kill me so you will die. Keela had launched a super attack completely disintegrating Yanemba, Keela was very tired. Huh, who the hell was that guy, he was incredibly powerful. If I hadn't used my multiversal energy, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Well, I'll look for Bardak, Keela disappears. However, on the ground a small part of Yanemba would have survived, thus rebuilding his body completely. Ha huh, what the hell? That little guy almost killed me if he hadn't even used the cosmic energy I would be dead. But my body is very weak now and my powers are very low. I should have been killed. At that moment Yanemba falls to the ground, his attack affected me a lot, I must kill that being or I could ruin my plans. On the other hand. What do you want? How did you know I'm here? Your presence? Hey, you know what? I just killed a very powerful guy who had the ability to destroy the entire multiverse and even more, too bad he ran into me. I'm not interested, come on don't be boring, it's okay come with me but don't even bother. Meanwhile in the universe 18 Goku was attentive. Hey Goku you want to revive your family right? Said Sora who already knew everything that Goku lived as well as Goku who knew all of Sora's history, they already knew each other too well, that's right, I will do it later if I have the opportunity, please help me. A voice was heard in Goku's head, what's going on Goku, why that face, you didn't hear that voice. There's someone asking for help, that voice is from Gojin what? Goku turns around, I'll be right back, wait what, Goku what are you doing where are you going? In that Goku disappears with the teleportation appearing in a strange place, welcome Goku, what the hell? Where am I, in the universe 15 thanks for taking my call, what are you saying? Who are you, Hasan Goku, in that the entity makes a technique trapping Goku in a bucket. What the hell are you doing? Great Yanemba trapped a powerful guy, he said it telepathically, well keep it up. Damn you get me out of here or else, Goku would try to unleash all his power but could not, it is not possible, I do not feel my strength, I cannot expel. You cannot do anything because that cube was created with cosmic energy of the great Yanemba, it is impossible to break it you will stay here until he comes, damn you get me out of here. Shouted Goku while turning his head seeing as there were thousands of hundreds of beings and gods with special energies locked in the cubes, which is this place, on the other hand. The angelic god would arrive at universe 18 seeing Sora worried, what happened? Goku without warning left, what? Sir wants me to help him? Do not stay here if Yanemba appears you are one of the few beings that can cope, we have to look for Goku% percent. who is that guy? He is one of the few beings I know who controls the universal and multiversal energy. Impossible but what are you? I am Ka Protector of the Hidden Universes, 
My task is to eliminate threats that have special energies so that they do not evolve and it is all out of control, that's right, he controls that. If it wasn't for him there would be a lot of beings trying to destroy everything, the universes would no longer exist, he is my right hand, that's incredible, with his help we can defeat Yanemba, suddenly Zenosama and Daishinkan would appear on the verge of death, but what is this? Sora shouted in surprise. The angelic king would heal all the wounds of Zenosama and Daishinkan, what happened to them? Those two entities absorbed our powers. On the other hand, this power is amazing, how the hell did those two get special energies? Shut up and let's go to the planet of the kings of everything, what? Are you talking about the planet where it's surrounded by gods and future kings of everything, so but it's very dangerous. Maruam we could be killed there. The gods are weak but if many get together we would be finished, shut up if we get the power of the infinite cube of that planet we will be invincible. Wait what cube? How do you know all that? Billions of years ago I lived on that planet. I was raised by the entities and was on the verge of getting that infinite cube although the chances of survival are very low, we have to touch that cube at least try. Try what? Said someone appearing through a portal, the two evil warriors were paralyzed. Who are you? I heard that you were talking about the power of an infinite cube, where is this place, tell me and I will leave you alive. Who do you think you are miserable, let me Maruam finish with this scum. Wait Demogra don't do anything. Now that I have the universal energy I will be able to finish with this being without problems, this one would launch a powerful attack which would be disintegrated by Yanemba with the glance vanishing the attack of this one, leaving impressed to these two. I believe that they need that they demonstrate them in which place the differences of our powers are, Yanemba pulls out a sword to say, multiversal cut, immediately Maruam would turn around seeing how his partner had been cut into thousands of pieces. Then Yanemba with a finger disappear every trace of Demogra, Maruam would be very scared and surprised, and well tell me where is that cube or do you want me to kill you too, Yanemba would say amusedly while on the other hand. Child are you telling me that the thing that will remove this mask is on this planet? Bardak exclaimed while many entities looked at him threateningly, on this planet are the most powerful beings and the future kings of everything. Really act passively or else if all these kings attack us at the same time Allah die, we could not against them, here on this planet is the most powerful treasure of existence itself. Bardak turns around, what are you talking about, in that Kila turns around saying. Look that's where you can remove that mask, he pointed to a place where he was ten gods hammering a super sword, let's see if they can help us, exclaimed Kila to go with Bardak to them, good they need? Hello we need to know if they could remove this mask that my friend has. Friend? Of course if we are gods we can do anything, said this to approach Alabardak mask, this almost broken but let's say that contains a very powerful magic that we do not know, however in that the god would begin to expel a great power. Nothing is impossible for me this grab the mask of Bardak, wait what the hell are you doing? The deity would begin to scream releasing an incredible power while Bardak screaming in pain. Stop it hurts. But, 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 but what is this? Bardak finally had been able to release 100% of all his power. This was in the transformation of Super Saiyan 2, well Alfin I have recovered all my power now I will go for that cube, exclaimed Bardak about to leave but would be stopped by Keela, wait Bardak. What do you want kid, I know what you're going to do, don't go for that cube or you'll die, that doesn't matter to you, Bardak was about to leave but Keela with one hand created a barrier, you're not going anywhere Bardak, kid take out this barrier, I won't do it, both would look serious. Wait don't fight hey I'm here, Bardak we know that of the two of us I'm the strongest here so try to do nothing, suddenly Bardak disappears appearing in front of Keela leaving him impressed, you want to know who is the strongest? Exclaimed Bardak to hit him with a punch in the stomach making Keela crash and drawing blood, I think this will be enough, said Bardak but Keela was on top of him. 
Kira shouted multiversal rays launching many attacks but Bardak raised his hand disintegrating the attack so the Saiyan raised his hand creating a technique making Kira unable to move, he then teleports and hits him in the face and then screams, multiversal cannon. The attack would hit Kila's stomach sending him to the ground knocking him out, Bardak would dense transform and he would leave, but how? Where did he get all that power? Kila would faint, while on the other hand. This power comes from the planet where the future kings of everything live, we must go there, surely Yanemba is in search of the infinite cube, infinite cube but what is that? The deity would explain everything about the infinite cube, everyone is amazed. We have to go if he gets to obtain and master the power of the cube will be indestructible. Wow that power that energy I recognize it is of Bardak, so on that planet surely is with Marun, so they are on that planet as we get there, hold on to me I know how to get there. All hold on to the angelic king, when that is heard a cry. Cosmic sword, the angelic king would be pierced by a super sword in the chest Sora and can turn shocked, the angelic king falls to his knees. We did it great Zenosama, if Daishinkan hit him, but what do you think they do? Khan in an instant hits him with a kick sending Daishinkan crashing against some rocks, your power will now be mine, but what are you doing Zenosama, the angelic king was on the ground drawing blood, now that we have hit you with that attack your power will be ours. The angelic king tried to get up but he couldn't when Zenosama shouted, absorb, all the power of the angelic king would be transferred to Zenosama's body and his power would increase overwhelmingly, how good this power feels. Sora grab Khan and go to that planet and maybe you'll find Goku there, now go away and don't waste time, I'll take care of these two, Khan listening to this, we won't leave master. Of course if the angelic king launches a technique making Sora and Khan appear on the planet of the kings of everything. Well now you will feel the true terror of the angelic king. Exclaimed Zenosama when he decided to merge with Daishinkan creating a new super powerful entity, I'm going to kill them all. While on the other hand, damn it, we left him alone, don't move, you are very hurt, Sora would heal Khan, damn it because he did that. Zenosama's power was far superior to ours, but suddenly in the sky was Bardak who was looking everywhere, Sora was impressed and recognized him, no, it is not possible, but if it is Bardak and he is still alive, Bardak looks at Sora and immediately teleports and grabs her by the neck. Where the hell were you, you have not given any sign of life Sora, Sora grabs Bardak's hand to pull him down, the Saiyan was impressed by the strength that he possessed, but what about that power, that energy, how is it possible, how did you get all that power? I would have to ask you. You look very different, I don't know you, Bardak, your power has increased a lot, but I see that you still can't control it to the maximum, but tell me what happened to you? You're not interested now, you too know an object called Infinite Cube? Khan is surprised, that face means yes. Tell me where it is, are you looking for that too? Do you know that if you try to control the power of that cube, you can die? I don't care but I don't care, I've felt a power before outside of this world and if the power that possesses that being with dark energy comes here, and comes to dominate that would be the end of everything, Sora is surprised, so after all if you think about the universes and others, I will only do it because if he gets hold of it we will all die, what do you think if we go together to look for it? Khan asked and Bardak was a little annoyed, I don't need help from someone but it would be faster, okay, Khan would give a strange object to each one, if you find something press this button so we all appear instantly. Well let's disperse. The three would go to different places in the meantime on the other side. Goku was no longer in a capsule but chained up while little by little a force was absorbing his vital energy. Saiyina resist, we have not yet taken out all your power. When we have 100% of all your strength we will give it to the great Yanemba, he will save this world. Damn you, I swear I swear I will kill you and destroy you, Goku said it very tired and hurt, the evil being looks at the suffering face of Goku and this smiling would say, calm. I don't know if you have family or loved ones, 
but the great Yanemba will be responsible for eliminating anything and exterminate everything you love, and your loved ones. The words of the god makes Goku is perplexed so this would begin to remember how his friends died. So this would come out a few tears, you just said. How dare you! This would have expelled all its maximum power passing to its last and most powerful transformation. The Super Saiyan Ultra God. This key energy is from Goku, what the hell is going on, where does this power come from? What kind of being must be to have such power? It's impossible, I'm recovered, but what about this amazing energy? Is it from Bardak? Impossible like who are you? What kind of monster are you? Goku would only raise his hand and the body of the deity would automatically turn to dust little by little so it would be prepared to disappear at an incredible speed beyond the light. On the other hand, Yanemba would arrive at the planet with Maruam. They were in space, well on this planet is the infinite cube let me free, Yanemba asks, hey the infinite cube is indestructible right? If so now let me, Yanemba would begin to laugh to move away a little and begin to raise its power to 100%, wait what are you doing? Yanemba gives a very loud scream heard throughout the galaxies and all the universes, cosmic energy. All the galaxies of that universe would be totally destroyed and Yanemba expelled 100% of all its power. Maruam was very scared trying to escape but Yanemba with his finger would begin to charge a powerful sphere full of cosmic energy, this guy is crazy, shouted Maruam trembling to escape, I will not waste time. In a second Yanemba would launch a super cosmic energy bomb the size of a planet so launching it against the planet of the deities being totally disintegrated in the middle of space the infinite cube would be seen floating. When in that Yanemba turns his head seeing three entities in space these were nothing more and nothing less than Bardak, Sora and Kila, which were on the verge of death inside a barrier Yanemba with his power creates a platform to say gravity for one million. The infinite cube and all fall on the platform, what was that, said a Bardak which would have survived the powerful cosmic Jenkadama Ala Yanemba this was Antraba about to death, what happened? It was said by a bleeding Kila. On the one hand Sora would begin to heal himself. Yanemba would go down to the platform about to grab the infinite cube when suddenly he would receive a powerful kick from Sora which doesn't even move him from the place, Sora backs up, but who are you, and why do you want the infinite cube, you are that Yanemba right? Yanemba would not respond by grabbing her neck like that. Damn let her go, shouted Bardak attacking with all his strength to Yanemba but this with one hand throws a powerful ball of cosmic energy. Bardak would cover but the attack was so powerful falling to the ground totally defeated, Kila would get up very hurt, damn how did you survive, Kila would begin to raise all his power, this time his different cosmic cutter, Yanemba launches a powerful attack to Kila. Kila would try to dodge it. However his arm would be completely cut disintegrating instantly, so Kila would scream in pain, they are just simple scum leave me alone. Yanemba gives a blow to Sora making her draw blood and then throw her to the ground crushing her head and kicking her in the face sending her away. Yanemba was in front of the infinite cube. Alfin had arrived the moment he wanted the infinite power. Yanemba was about to grab the infinite cube until a light would make its presence.